Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to use the Windows software which comes along with the Project Mate Shield. The Project Mate Shield can also connect to an Android app, but we'll discuss about that in a different video. The first step is go to our website www.priogeek.in. Then you can scroll down here and you can see that you can also use the shield with Arduino and uh, you can plug in different sensors directly into the shield and start with coding. So when you come a little bit down, you can see that there's an option wherein you can convert your project made shield into a portable electronics lab with PC or Android phone. So just scroll down a little bit and you can see the download link for the Windows app. Now let me click on the Windows app download link and the software download will get started. So once the download is complete, there might be a warning message from your browser. So just select the option as keep. So once the download is complete, you can click on the installation file. If Windows shows you this particular screen, just go to more info and then say run anyway. So here you can select if you want to install the FTDI drivers and the CH341 drivers. So if you have already installed it, you can unselect this or if you want, you can select this and install the respective drivers. Since I already have these drivers, I am unchecking these two boxes. But if you don't have this, please select these two boxes and then continue with the installation. Click install here. Once the installation is complete, you will get an option to launch the Priogeek Windows app here. So this is how the Windows app looks. You can see here on the left side, you have oscilloscope section and down here, you have various controls to access the features like oscilloscope, signal generator, voltmeter, or to generate a sound signal. And there's also an option to control the onboard LEDs right from the app. So inside each box, you can see there is a I symbol here, which gives the information about this particular features in this box. If you hover your mouse over the I button, you can see which pins you need to connect to access these features. For example, if you want to access the analog oscilloscope, then you can connect to OSC1 and OSC2 on the shield. And then if you turn on the oscilloscope, you will be able to measure the signals. So in this way, you can see that each box has an I button and you are going to get the relevant information that's required for this particular box. So for generating the sound frequency, you can see that you need to use the clock pin. So you can hover over the I button and get the information about where to connect on the shield. On the right side of the app, you can see that there's an option to play different videos. So here you will have ready-made videos to access various information about the shield. For example, there is also a drop-down menu where you can select different topics which you want to access. If you select project made shield, so you will have the option for hardware specification and how to access the onboard LEDs and various other features. Please remember that these topics will be automatically updated from our database as and when we update new videos. So you need not update your Windows software while we add new videos. So that's a very good feature wherein you don't have to download the Windows app every now and then to access a new video. So all these uh, drop down menu and the different topics and the different videos will be automatically updated for you. And down here, you can see that this is the connection status. So this will change to Priogeek connected as soon as you connect the shield to your PC. Now it shows as Priogeek disconnected. And now let me connect it again. And you can see that the app will automatically detect the project made shield and it's going to connect. So for the very first time when you are using the shield with your Arduino Uno, you need to update the firmware. So just press this flash button here and say OK. And the app will automatically download the firmware to your project made shield. So once the download is complete, then again the Windows app will show you as Priogeek connected. Now you are ready to start using the project made shield with the Windows application. So first, let me turn on the oscilloscope here and let me connect a clock signal to the oscilloscope. So 
So you can see here, the clock signal is displayed on the oscilloscope and I can increase or decrease the frequency of the clock signal. Similarly, you can measure the voltage by connecting to the respective pin. So to get the relevant information, you can hover on top of this I button and you will get which pin you can use to access the voltmeter or the resistance meter, etc. And as discussed before, you can also access the four LEDs on the project mate shield right from the Windows app. So for example, you can see that I turned on the first LED and the LED is turned on and let me turn on the other LEDs. So all the four are turned on and you can also turn off all these LEDs. So you can connect many digital ICs or um, like the L293D motor driver and you can control the motors right from the Windows app. So in this video, I just wanted to show you an overview of the Windows app. And in the following videos, I'll be giving detailed explanation about each feature and how you can connect to the project mate shield and use it with the Windows app. I hope this video was informative for you. Thank you for watching the video.